And the number of serious injuries and deaths among motorcyclists in Texas is rising. I was able to speak with TexDOT and ask how it's working to reduce the number of these incidents. Motorcyclist injuries and deaths on Texas roadways are on the rise. Motorcycles have every right to be on the road as a regular motor vehicle. According to TexDOT, in 2021, there was 2,318 serious injuries among motorcyclists in Texas and 519 deaths. We're sharing that road with other drivers. We're sharing that road with road workers. We're sharing that road with first responders, motorcyclists, bicyclists, sometimes pedestrians. Locally, TexDOT tells us the number of motorcycle crashes in the Amarillo District was 141, resulting in 59 serious injuries and 10 deaths. The motorcyclists, they're not as easy to see. That's why they have their headlights on and a lot of them wear reflective gear. So uh, we need to be extra vigilant, especially now that we have this great weather. Gross says some of the tips to keep in mind when it comes to motorcycles. If you're in front of them and you see them in your rearview mirror, don't slam on your brakes. That's not cute. When they're trying to get around you and maneuver, uh, let them. Share the road isn't just a, a catchphrase. It is something that we need to do on a regular basis every time we get behind the wheel of the vehicle. And most of all, keep 100% of your focus on driving, staying aware of your surroundings. What's happening on our cell phone, that's not important. Our kids screaming in the back seat, let them scream. Keep your eyes on the road ahead. And Gross says they're also urging motorists to buckle up every time you get behind the wheel 